hey, there we are again. Um, first of all, happy new year and stuff. Hope you are okay. You probably want to know what's what's happening with your songs you sent me. Um, I gotta say, I listened to 50% and uh, since it's 10 hours of music, I still have to go for another 5 hours. So, I, I didn't forget the review, okay? But it really takes time because uh, I'm getting tired by listening to the same drum beat over and over and over again. And today I thought um, I present you my recording gear. There has been a video in 2018, I think, but some things have changed since then. So, let's start. Okay, first of all is my audio interface. I record, you know, everything with guitars, bass. This spoken words right now is the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. Yes. Nothing special, it has two inputs. Because, um, you know, I wanted to play guitar and talk at the same time in my tutorial videos, for example. Then, for the vocals, I use this microphone. That's a Lewitt 440 Pure. When I record vocals, you know, at home. That happens sometimes. Or, when I record vocals at the car, in the car, I use the um, Zoom H2M. Totally recommend both. Awesome microphones. So, that's the stuff that I record signals with, you know, guitar signal or bass signal or vocal voice signals. And um, if I don't record my stuff at the rehearsal room with my real amplifier, uh, by the way, I use the Shure SM58 and the Lewitt as well when I record the real amplifier. But when I record my stuff at home, I use Reaper. It's 60 bucks or something and it's it's, I totally love it. It's, it's an awesome software. It's an awesome DAW, digital audio workstation. So when I'm not recording the real amplifier, I use, um, if, I want, if I want a nice guitar sound quickly, I use the Forte Nameless Suite. That's pretty okay, but if I want to, you know, change a lot of details on the sound, I use Amplitube 4. Oh, no product placement, of course. Um, Amplitube is a pretty mighty software, you know, you can uh, choose between several amplifiers but from, you know, pop or let's say blues, jazz to rock, heavy metal, everything. It's awesome. And different cabinets, different speakers, different microphones, different um, recording surroundings, landscapes. I should have prepared some words, some vocabulary, but who cares? Yes, I use that for uh, to record bass and guitar, and for the drums I still use um, TuneTrack Superior Drummer 2. Yes, it's 2. I think the newest version, uh, Superior Drummer 3, is, is already out, but uh, I'm super happy with uh, Superior Drummer 2. And I sometimes use um, Cult Drums 2, you know, for the raw black metal stuff, but um, I gotta say, the, the loading times of Cult Drums 2 are insane. I don't know what's wrong with the software, but uh, if you want to change, you know, if you if you want to change the sound of the snare or of the bass drum or something, you know, you gotta grab a coffee. It it the loading time is I don't know maybe it's 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 my fault. It's probably my fault because uh, nobody's that stupid uh, programming such a such a, a slow software. But it's okay, I still use it. And that's it, nothing special. You know, two microphones, one for recording here in my living room, one to record vocals in the car, the classical Farvan way, way. Uh, my Focusrite, Superior Drummer, Amplitube, and sometimes Forte Nameless Suite. Thanks for watching, I gotta say, I don't know. If you, if you like the video, I would be very pleased if you subscribe to Rob Scallum. And see you next time. Or watch watch this shit. Okay. Cool. Happy New Year. And stuff.